What is up everybody, it is HX7, back at it again with a video. Uh, today is a bittersweet moment. We are finishing up Cornerstone Season 1. I'm sure you have seen some videos if you're an avid watcher or viewer of Cornerstone players and SMP members in general. Uh, I'll probably be one of the last to actually upload due to my base being so large and me not really <laughs> knowing how to efficiently and effectively like format what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm currently standing on our little uh, rope bridge is what I want to call it. Um, and I don't, I don't really know where to begin this mountain and my explanation of build. So I'm going to start kind of organically and try to do this in one take. Uh, this is now officially my fifth or sixth time now trying to talk about this build. I'm going to have some replay, uh, shots going through talking exactly and, and showing you a different view of what I'm seeing. Um, but yeah, so coming up right in front of us is all the competition builds. And this is a competition I, I did probably about six or seven months ago now. And uh, whoever did the best got all the diamonds everyone paid to, uh, you know, paid to build on here. So everyone paid a diamond block to build. And the uh, winner, which is Nella's, got the majority of the diamonds. Um, or diamond blocks, I should say. But so, like I said, that's Nella's build. We got Alex's build right here in front of me. Bodie's Manor. Uh, Elementalist Windmill and Lemon Slices Church and then we got Will PJ's little red brick house building down here and then we got the castle up top which was built by Jack of All Trades. All of the builds came out great they all look even better now with all the foliage and trees around it and uh, I'm grateful for all of you guys who uh, participated on this it really meant a lot to me and it, it helped you know complete the mountain as it is now and I think without these, this place wouldn't be the same. So thanks again. Okay, so now flying down below, we uh, are going to go to the reactor. The reactor is like the headquarters for Hicks Mountain, in my opinion. It is where I have all of my main storage compartments. Uh, and it has all the little secret tunnels that lead throughout the whole base, too. Um, I'm not going to go too in-depth with that because I've, I've already tried. And it really gives me a lot of anxiety trying to like name and label everything. And uh, I end up slurring my speech and it sounds terrible. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, but this is the reactor. I got the masons, I got the guys, the uh, the armorers and all the toolsmiths and stuff on in that middle part right there. And then we got just the organic compostable items right with the haystack or the, uh, the hay roof is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, like I said, the reactor is the headquarters. Right off in the distance too, we get a beautiful view of Jack's cookie platter. I'll fly over there because it's not going to be included in this replay. Um, but this was such a fun little thing Jack did and he put it right on the peak of the mountain and uh, I, I had to move it somewhere because I wanted the peak to remain the peak but I wanted to uh, have a, a memory of this so we put it on a nice gold pedestal and uh, now it's going to live in Cornerstone Infamy. So that is the reactor and cookie platter. Uh, also the polar bear up top. Directly over here in the reactor, we have the bridge and the dam. These two are like iconic builds from the first couple episodes, and I wanted to keep them just because that reason alone. I wanted to have some remembrance of, uh, if that's a word, I don't even know. But, you know, some, some remembrance of what we did in the beginning. And uh, that's, that's why these are here still. And they're kind of out of place in my opinion. But the sign has been here since like day one. Um... Also, on top of this, if we continue following the pathway, we get to the barn and the lighthouse. So, 
Here's a replay for that, and then I'll chat about it in a second. Okay, like I was saying though, the, the barn took so long to finish and we really, really like, just, I, I put it off, you know, I wasn't happy with, like, I, I liked the base a little bit, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the roof, I wasn't sure how it was going to fit in my base, uh, and I was also, like, I, I'm so close to the shopping district over here that I needed to somehow make it feel like it was meant to be in my base and not some shop in the shopping district. Uh, so I d ended up doing a lot of terraforming here. I dug down, I built a retaining wall back here and littered it with trees. Uh, and then come the uh, the big dig with the reactor hole, I ended up moving all the animals over here and I needed a place. So that's, that's kind of what pushed me to finish it. Uh, but then I, I had this big gaping hole right here on the side of this mountain and I needed to cover it up. So I, I kind of blended it in with the terrain over here but I saw this part and I was like, dude, this is going to be perfect for a lighthouse. And that's where the lighthouse came to be. Um, and I couldn't be happier with this build in general. It's just so freaking cool and gorgeous looking and uh, it really turned out good. So that is the barn. Okay, guys, so let's say goodbye to that one take thing. It is now my second take, uh, or at least in terms of, you know, editing. I'm going to have two separate clips to edit. But we're, we're standing at Jack's uh, castle up here. And, um, you know, I, I built this little bridge over here to get some water to fall through. Just so we had, you know, some reason to have the Nella's waterfall over here. To, I, I needed it to make sense, you know. So that, that was the whole point of this build right here. Um, but yeah, I, we're at the peak, right? And this was probably the last thing we added to the mountain. I knew I wanted like a climate gradient as well when we talk about like the foliage so that's why we have like pine trees and then no trees at the top because it's just too cold for anything to grow. So that was the idea there. Um, and then we have the glacial lake. So all of it, you know, I, I did kind of think about it, you know, as, as, as things continued but it wasn't like, this whole base was not really planned out in any way. And that's why the front of the mountain looks so, like, drastically different from the back of the mountain. Because, in, in my opinion, the back of the mountain is much more well thought out. And I kind of had an idea of what I was trying to accomplish. Uh, I did end up doing, like, a wire frame, too, to get an idea of the shape that I wanted to roll with. And uh, it really helped me out with, um, what, just overall planning of the shape. Um, but here's a replay mod of the back of the mountain. And uh, you can see exactly, you know, just how vast and awesome this thing looks. So that's the back of the mountain. Uh, notable builds are the town square back down there. We got the two silos that were meant to be windmills, but you only heard that from me. Don't don't ever bring that up in the future. I, you know, I, sometimes builds just change. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, those things are pretty recent. I'm not going to really go down there and go in depth. I, you, 
if you've watched the last couple episodes, you know exactly what's going on. Uh, to go and cut directly down here, we, we're going to go into the laboratory. As you can tell, it's very unfinished. Um, and I kind of called this place the shell because it's the shell of the, uh, or the inner parts of the mountain, you know, and it's, it's vast. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, this is where I originally had all the farms, you know, anything I sold in the shops, uh, was in here. And this is really, yeah, where I, where I farmed anything I needed to, or if I, if I was working on a farm or trying to get an idea of what I needed, I would come and build it in here. Um, this has gone through a lot of changes. Uh, we've, we've done like, we, we finally settled with this design just to add like some continuity and compartmentalism. I, I don't know. You know, I, I, I wanted more organization down here instead of just floating structures. So that, that was the whole point of the walls. Um, but yeah, this is the laboratory. So walking out of this, we're going to, th this was the tunnel I built to get to the top of the mountain from the shopping district. We are walking to the shopping district just to, uh, you know, show off the train station and quick shot and uh, also the, uh, the nether portal in here. These are all things that I participated in building and built entirely by myself, like Quickshot and the train station. Um, the train station did evolve midway through. Quickshot was a game uh, that I kind of used as like a retaliation to the gaming district because I didn't want to build in the gaming district. Uh, and I said this on the live stream, I really just wanted the shopping district and the gaming district to be, you know, mixed in with each other or, or one in the same. Um, but yeah, these are the, the two shops that I built. Rather, the one shop and the one game that I built. Now, coming over here, I really, like, this has gone through a, a large evolution, I think, in terms of this, just the, the season, you know? It, we, we started off with a pathway that went around, and we had a chicken shop, and, you know, an iron shop. We had a bunch of stuff that got torn down and moved or just tucked away in the chest. Um, but now we have just the grand entrance, I think, is, is the way I look at it, and you'll see it in the replay here. Uh, but it just turned out so nice and it really is in my opinion just very like professional feeling you know and and uh, I, I couldn't be happier with how this place turned out uh, the whole pile of diamonds and netherite and emeralds up there is from all the fallen players that we've lost throughout the uh, the year and a half this season has been going um, so that is an insane amount of diamonds for everyone to see Okay, so now we're in the flower district, and this is where Palithoa and I kind of uh, collaborated and built a couple big farms to farm flowers. And uh, because of that, we, we were able to get all the dyes, and uh, I was able to sell flowers in the shop. He was selling dyes in his wool shop, and we built this beautiful place. And man, guys, I, I really love it, and you'll see it in the replay. It's just such a cute little, like, humble house at, or, or manor, dare I say. I don't know. Uh, but we have this massive cactus farm behind it that was just purely used for bone meal. Um, unfortunately, it didn't really generate us that much. But Chuckles, Chuckles joined later on and all the Aussies joined later on. And he ended up building a moss farm over here that is like fully sustainable and produces enough moss to create bone meal to keep it far or running indefinitely. And, you know, have some bone meal on top of it. So... Now we, or because of that, we never ran out of um, bone meal. So here we are in the uh, nether portal of Hicks Mountain. This has been here since, you know, really early on. I built this cave that originally led to the ravine back here. Uh, and, you know, Hicks Mountain needed a lot of stone. So this ravine really just turned into a massive pit mine. Um, so let's go down there. I always like to showcase how much I dug out because it's kind of insane when you, when you see how much there's just missing 
um, and, and I've added to it and I've subtracted from it you know there's there's a lot that that went on here um, but this is the inside of Hicks Mountain this is the organic part that I was talking about I wouldn't really show too much and this is where I'm gonna wrap up the video in our head museum uh, as always guys this has been an insane journey this has been a ton of blocks and a ton of mining and a ton of time put into just getting this you know this area beautified and built up and uh, you know it was such a fun time doing all of it um, but this is where I'm gonna leave all of my uh, inner chest innards I guess and I'm gonna throw all my armor up right here on an armor stand and this is where I'm gonna call a quits uh, it has been a fantastic last year and I don't know I say six months but you know it's been a long time and uh, you know I've gone through many players on this season and uh, I've gained a lot more players and friends and people to play video games with and I, I really appreciate all of you that have uh, joined the Cornerstone family and um, you know continue watching and supporting my content and growth so thanks again for watching I'll see you on season two I'm so excited for these mountains it's like I almost predicted it building this one uh, and I can't wait to show you what I have in store for that next season I am I, I've been just brainstorming nonstop thinking about it um, as always HX signing out have a great lovely day and here are all my stats peace out